sweeping new charges against the lawyer who took on President Trump. Michael Avenatti tonight is now accused of stealing millions from his own clients, including stealing from a $4 million settlement he helped win for a paraplegic man. Authorities say using stolen money to buy real estate and to buy this private jet right there that federal agents have now seized tonight. ABC's chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman. Michael Avenatti famously crowed that he won millions for his clients. Tonight, prosecutors are saying that for several of those clients, what he won, he mostly pocketed. Mr. Avenatti received money on behalf of clients and simply took the money to finance his businesses and his personal expenses. A federal grand jury indicting the flashy L.A. attorney on 36 counts of fraud, perjury, and failing to pay taxes, the types of crimes he so often accused President Trump of committing. Avenatti is now accused of stealing millions from his clients to finance a luxury lifestyle that included a chain of coffee shops, which he advertised on his race car suit, a big home, even a jet, which prosecutors say he used client money to buy. Mr. Avenatti allegedly took nearly all that money and used it to pay for his portion of a private jet, a jet, incidentally, that we seized yesterday. There it is being towed away from a Southern California airport. It is lawyer 101. You do not steal your client's money. One of the alleged victims, Jeffrey Johnson, is a paraplegic. Prosecutors say Avenatti drained almost all of the $4 million he got in a settlement from L.A. County, giving Johnson only money for rent at an assisted living facility. Tonight, the man's lawyer saying Avenatti's actions have left Mr. Johnson destitute. Avenatti, who is already facing extortion charges in New York, has been characteristically defiant, denying all of the allegations. I will be fully exonerated and justice will be done. Thank you. Matt Gubman with us live tonight outside federal court. And Matt, Michael Avenatti is now facing the second wave of charges tonight. If convicted, what kind of prison time could he face? An enormous amount, David. If convicted on all of those charges, he faces a combined maximum of nearly 400 years. That is a life sentence. And tonight we are told that the prosecutor's office is aware of additional victims. And it's possible we might see additional indictments. Tonight, Avenatti weighing in again, saying he denies all of the allegations and saying he is innocent. David. Matt Guppin with us live tonight. Matt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.